there goes Republic. This is bad. I feel like maybe there was a flaw in our design. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. It's Alpha 9 on Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, and you know what that means. It's meme ship time. Let's dive in. So unfortunately, in order to be able to get the 24 20-inch guns that I want on this particular ship, we've got to make some sacrifices because each one of these turrets weighs almost 9,000 tons. Uh, and you can see how quickly that adds up. I mean, we're talking about 54,000 tons just for our main guns. So unfortunately, that doesn't leave a lot of room for things like, you know, armor and such. So there's a good chance we might see a, a quick explosion happen on our side. So we're going down to only 23 knots of speed. And uh, our engine efficiency is good. Not that that matters a whole lot. Uh, the pitch and roll is going to be interesting, but um, that's going to make for an interesting amount of accuracy. You can see here, um, I'm just going to look at overall what we're kind of facing. Base accuracy, uh, and then here's all the accuracy penalty modifiers for weather, daytime, wind, and waves. Uh, which we're not going to worry about too much in this case. Uh, there's just not a lot of room to get any more guns. Man, I was hoping I could get some on the side, but not ones that size you can't. So we'll try a couple of different meme ship builds today. Uh, this one, we're not going to put any kind of additional protection other than maybe just a little extra belt armor uh, because we're going to be starting at 5,000 meters. And I want to see how quickly we can blow up 10 German battle cruisers so let's have some fun with this man the second i loaded it fired <laughs> i didn't even have a chance to really start recording holy cow in the first shot just devastated this german battle cruiser right here oh my gosh i want to get turned so we can uh, really see the uh the full devastating effect of a broadside from this thing it should be glorious to behold it's gonna take us a while to get turned. We're gonna slow down so we can get the max accuracy going. We're already at oh boy, see? Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah, we already got a sinking. Two two shots from just our front guns. Took out the first one. Here's what we want to do. Let's go after one of these ones on the side. So we can get additional guns firing. Could you imagine how much 2,000 20-inch shells, how much weight that is? I mean, that's part of the weight. That was only one there. One turret and it landed short, but now we're going to get all of them ready to aim. 71% chance to hit on our very first full broadside that's going to come. And let's see if we can get... a decent amount of damage to me already. Mostly I would guess on my deck which is very thin. Oh yeah, bring it. The meme ship. Twenty-four twenty-inch guns ready to fire.
Oh, it just takes, takes so long to reload this thing. But we've uh, we've landed 14 hits for 6,300 damage so far. We've been hit 169 times. Halfway there. What's the reload time on this thing? 70 seconds, and that's with all the enhancements to make it faster. Alright, we're about to do this. Oh, he only fired two barrels. I guess that's probably all we need. I'm the King Wilhelm. Really disappointed the other ones didn't fire. There they go. A little, a little too much spread there. Still enough. Enough to get it done. Who's next? Württemberg? Taste the power of the beam ship. Alright, let's speed it up. Still 64% structural. Oh, that wasn't Württemberg, that's why. There's Württemberg over here. She's sinking right next to the other one. But we've already caused enough damage on this one to finish them off right here. Lovely. Alright, so we get the point with this one. I think we want to try something different though. That's just that's too easy, you know? All right, so how about 48 15-inch guns? 15 seems to be the sweet spot for being able to get them on both sides of the deck. Uh, and again, I've gone with the uh, the 125,000-ton ship because that allows me the Pagoda Tower, which gives me more room for fitting uh, more of these main guns. And I had to put these two sideways, which is fine because that's the direction I want to shoot from anyway. So 48 15-inch guns. Let's see what happens. I'm uh, using Lidite, uh, Lidite 2 shells, and I'm going to fire with HE. Uh, with super heavy shells. Because what I want to do is, holy cow, those guys are right on top of me. Um, what I want to do is I want to actually try and, oh boy, and that one's gone already. <laughs> I want to try and cause some flash fires is what I was going to say. Um, so let's go with HE. We do have him on the side we wanted him on. Dang. This guy died literally in the first 10 seconds of the battle. That was glorious. So let's go for, no, we don't want to go for the guy over there. We want to go for somebody over on the side. So we can get these things fired. AT shells, let's see what kind of penetration we get with AG super heavies. Oh, hey, hello. I guess we did fire from the front on this guy. Come on, get reloaded. That's not right. That is not right at all. Okay, where were we? We haven't even gotten them all turned yet. We haven't even begun to unleash the firepower this thing has. AG super heavy shells. Quick explosions. I want to see what kind of penetration they get from a distance. We've already seen what they can do up close. Couldn't do more. I wanted to do more guns than this, but it only lets you do six side turrets. So those six right there. Everything else had to be a center line. Here we go. About ready to fire some of them. Explosions are glorious. 
Who's next? I guess you're next in line, sir. And what is your name? Oh, we don't know yet. We haven't identified yet. That's okay. Not necessary. Oh, look how nice. He just fired his little gun at me. Here we go. Well, that wasn't nearly as fun. We did get one good hit. But a couple of them just got partial penetration. The ideal way to do this would be with HE shells with 20 inch guns. Because that would guarantee the penetration, but we'd also get that explosiveness of the Lidite HE shells that I'm after. Here we go. This should do it. Oh yeah. Oh, he's colliding into the, the wreckage of the previously sunken ship. Or sinking ship, I should say. They're right on top of each other. I forgot to name this one the meme ship. Well, that's disappointing. Let's get our turrets turned. Actually, we should be going after this guy. Wait, who just... What? Where's the Durflinger and why did he sink? Is it this one back here? I don't even remember shooting at him. That's crazy. Did he just scuttle himself to avoid being blown up by me? I, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna, in my own mind, say that's what happened. We must have shot him earlier and he just flooded or something. Well, I bet I bet the fires spreading is what did that. Like this guy here, I bet I bet fl uh, fires or flood will finish him off before I even have to fire again. That's why I'm going after this other one now. Haven't had a nice uh, ammo detonation or something since those opening shots, though. Yeah, I think Crown Prince is going down. That's the nice thing with those HE shells is that they, they're the gift that keeps on giving. Even after the initial... Now the problem is we got to get turned around for these last three. And that's not going to be so easy to do. I don't exactly have a uh, turn on a dime with this thing. Not that I need all of my barrels to be able to do what I need, need to do here. Look at that flooding happening after the initial shots come in. That's nice. In fact, I'm going to go up to the turret of the Armenians because I think we've got... I think we've got this one done. So it's really just the new turrets that are firing right now. Oh yeah, there's an ammo detonation. Man, 
whole front of that ship's on fire. That's glorious. Unless you're on the ship, then it's horrifying. Let's see how that fire spreads. Actually, it's the float damage that's continuing to mount up. What happens if we switch to AP? What kind of damage are we going to get? I mean, not not as much, obviously, with the Lidite shells. But let's go ahead and see. Yeah, we get the flooding damage, though. Arminius is done. Bye bye. Yeah, you better run. What's the distance here? 16.7 kilometers. I'm not really built for long range accuracy with this ship. Eighteen kilometers out now. Let's see if we get any hits on if so what happens. There we go. It's gonna go to auto. Are we turning yet? <laughs> We're still trying trying desperately to turn. But he's turning faster than I can turn. I might be better off to go the other way. Because then I'll be going the same direction as him. That's just going to take us a little longer to kill this last guy because he got so far away. this way, but we're still going that way. That's how bad maneuverability is on this thing. It's not even worth it to try and go that way. shall we so this time we're going to go ahead and just make five battleships armed to the teeth with uh 20 inch guns we're going to go up against 10 1940 battleships and just see how long it takes to take them out all right so oh we forgot about the secondary tower well that's a problem let's and we're going to need a funnel too oh man they just cramping my style here so let's turn this thing sideways there we go. Like so. But man, I gotta put a, put a funnel on here somewhere. There we go. We made it work. We just have to make sure that he's on my port side when I fire. Um, actually, the, the weight offset's not real bad either. I think it'd be brutal to deal with in high high seas and winds though um we're gonna have to hope we're on the correct side because we're not really going to do a lot in terms of maneuvering this thing because we're only going to be at a thousand yards to start so really none of this matters a whole lot other than just to make sure he doesn't blow me up real quick uh again okay we're, we're dealing with 1940 battleships this time uh, so i guess we need to worry a little bit about what we're going to use here. Um, yeah, we'll go 
high TNT and we'll do, I don't think we need to do super heavy or heavy shells. But you know, it just makes it more fun that way. We're just probably going to get a lot of like over penetration at this distance. Um, okay, I think we're good. I don't think we need to worry about too much else. I'm really not going to. Things like, you know, being able to move. I guess we'll give it a little more speed just because we've got the available weight. So five ships. What are we dealing with? We've got five ships. Ah. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we've got 28 guns on each one. So we've got 140. 20 inch guns. All right. All right, here we go. This is probably going to happen really quickly like it did before. I thought we started it all. Just the front two are going to start at that distance. And of course, they're on the wrong side. They're all on the wrong side. Can we, re can we like restart the battle and have it start on a different side? I guess I can probably do that. Well, this time we started on the front and there was one right there and we killed him instantly. They're still on the wrong side though. They're actually, we're right in the middle of them all. Can we drag these guys all into one battle line? We can, okay. That's how that little card system works. I like that. We've got a Jean Bart, Invincible. Republic, La Meme Ship, the Bairn. Yeah, they're on the wrong side, and I don't think we can get these. Whoa! We lost one! La Meme Ship! No! No! Oh my gosh! And Invincible. Okay, so I think we're seeing a structural problem with these ships. <laughs> wow! We didn't add any any armor to them, so they've only got 11 inch belt armor, only three inches on the extended deck. And with all of those 20 inch shells, they're just going up fast. And I'm not gonna be able to get turned around fast enough to be able to do anything. Let's see if we can grab and kill the middle spot. Oh, there goes Republic. This is bad. feel like maybe there was a flaw in our design. <laughs> Ships that barely move have little protection going up against 1940 battleships and they're dying fast. Let's see if Bairn can uh, take out the Biddle's Bach before we die. Upcoming, hey, we got the Biddle's block. For our upcoming uh, videos in this, other than the Taskmaster Challenge, I am going to be taking a look at some of the new um, Naval Academy missions, so we'll be a little more serious with the next ones. And then we're going to try to recreate some of those four turret ships, uh, like the Nelson, uh, like the, well, not the Nelson, but uh, the King George V. Um, Richelieu, ships like that. Thanks for watching, guys. Drop a like. We'll see you again soon.